why I left BRC is a question that has been asked to me since the day I resigned from BRC and for you to understand exactly why I did it you need to understand the full story and the story does not start when the BRC training school started it starts before even the interview of BRC happened the one I qualified and I know that it would be a little bit difficult for you to believe but even before the interview, I knew that I'm going to crack BIRC interview and I knew that I'm also going to crack Indian Space Research Organization but I knew that Indian Space Research Organization has is joining a little bit late and BIRC always starts its joining on 1st August. So I knew that I'm going to stay in BIRC for let's say 4 or 5 months and then I'm going to hop into ISRO. But plans doesn't always work and I failed in ISRO 2017 May examination. I joined ISRO, uh, sorry, joined BARC because I needed a job and I wanted to prepare for ISRO on my own money. So I continued my preparation. It became a little bit difficult because BIRC training school is tough in itself. And uh, I failed again in December 2017 examination for ISRO but kept on going. And finally in April 2018 examination, I cracked the written test and then in August, 2018 I cracked the interview with All India Rank 4. So I always had it in my mind that nuclear science is not my region of interest. Both of these organizations are fantastic, top level organization, the best research going on in this country. But the research itself is very much depending on your interest. If you're not interested in nuclear science, you cannot study that 12 hours a day. If you're interested in rocketry, you have to go over there right so that is why i knew that i was always interested in aerodynamics i was interested in rocketry i was interested in space technology i knew that i like things moving and i always knew that nuclear reactors doesn't move this was the thing that was always going in my head so i had this thing going on that i'm not in the right place i have to get out of here so I did what I had to and in the end it worked out for me. Uh, one of my mentors Sarah Jane always used to say you're just in the wrong place, you're just in the wrong pond, you have to get out of here and that's what I did. I was a liability at Department of Atomic Energy, I really was because I was sitting over there looking at reactors and thinking that it would be amazing if this was a launch pad of PSLV rocket. I was just imagining rockets taking off and that's just how it was. So. I wasn't supposed to be over there and that is why I'm doing this thing of guiding people into research organizations telling them how to crack the examinations because the examinations and to a huge extent even the interviews are just a game the engineering starts after you join so I want you to be in right place if you say that BIRC is my dream job I want to be over there I'll get you over there if you say that ISRO is a place I really dream of being at I'll get you over there if you say that IIT Bombay is where you want to be I'll tell you exactly what you need to do to get in there and because I want to build true scientists of this nation and I think that's where my real place is maybe I'm doing a better job for BRC after resigning BRC from BRC because I want to get people who are really interested in nuclear science who are really interested in those kind of thermal analysis and I want to get it and get them in there so that's the sole reason why I left the area of interest nothing else is BRC a bad place to be at no does it have its own flaws yes every organization has its flaws but I'm still saying it it's much better than PSUs honestly a lot of you guys might be thinking that why to join BRC when I can directly get 60,000 or 80,000 salary on the first day because BRC has this training school going on where you are just getting stipend of 35,000 and you have to go and study over there because one year in BRC training school is like um, half MTech. You have to do classes over there, appear for examinations over there and that goes for full one year and people do not want that. I have to study and I am going to get paid less but think of it in the long term because over here you are going to apply engineering throughout your life this is what you studied for four years in BTEC if you had to leave it and go to, go and do marketing in IOCL why would you join mechanical engineering or any field of specialization that you have 
here you are going to really apply that i can assure you are definitely going to use your knowledge you're definitely going to keep on learning this is a place where you're getting paid to study where you're getting paid to increase your knowledge and one year training school will give you a degree in nuclear science and engineering at the end of it and uh, after that in just one year during your job itself you are going to get a final degree of mtech and also after that it will pay for your phd and maybe for post phd if you are interested in that so here you are learning continuously and mumbai is amazing for one other than that what about me i joined bic training school 1st august 2017 on 31st july 2018 i got a degree in nuclear science and engineering 1st august 2018 i joined as a scientific officer c on 3rd august september 2018 i put the resignation letter down and on 3rd october 2018 i was relieved 9 october 2018 i joined indian space research organization but people who are there are still happy because they wanted this kind of research but at the same time some of them are not why because i was not the only one who wanted to get into indian space research organization it is a name that everyone wants a piece of and uh, they could not because uh, it's too difficult to prepare with brc training school you have to sacrifice a lot every time friends were going out for a trip i had to say no it hurted me from the inside that what am i sacrificing for it because these competitive examinations nobody can assure that you are going to get into it and i had already failed in isro once before i I'm, i failed in it again in december so at that point it was very very difficult because i am putting it all on the line for something which was uncertain but cut time you know that it was very very worth it and every time uh, boys were going out uh, for dinner and i had to say no i regretted it every time others were hanging out with girls from chemistry department playing those games with dumb shadaj and antakshri and i had to say no i regretted it by the way the fastest way to get it on with a girl was to play antakshri and stuff like that with them it's also the fastest way to lose who you truly are and lose your individuality but that's something that we are going to talk another day coming back to the point what you want to do you have to do it and that is what i'm kind of doing over here if someone like me was there to guide me into isro maybe i would have cracked it in the first attempt and i would have gotten to the right place in the right time but now i'm playing that role and i'm going to help you get where you want to be so that it's better for the nation honestly when true scientists are exactly where they want to be and they are going to develop technologies which is going to help us all so that's about it i guess i'm going to end it i hope you understand why i left brc it is a fantastic place to be at and i cherish each and every last second that i spent over there honestly i would not be saying it if i did not meant it it's a fantastic place to be at isro is amazing too these are all amazing and i'm lucky to see the insights of both of these organizations so i'll see all of you in the next one if you like these kind of videos these are called vlogs and i've made a bunch of them on my second youtube channel it's named ashish ranjan the link will be down in the description or you can just click over here and you can see these kind of vlogs every day every not every day every weekend okay and there i talk about what happened there in brc because this one year time 14 months time in brc is a twisted story and i share what exactly happened what happens when you go against the grain what happens the whole world goes against you and when you beat this regardless of everyone going against you the same world worships you and uh, those are the things that i share over there and my experience in brc my experience in isro so you can go through it and i'll see all of you in the next one this is ashish ranjan till then bye